Hey guys, am I looking busy? Am I looking busy as mm? This is not an excuse to make me say, Hey guys, no follow up video. I make it a cool PC and that's it. No follow up video. No, this is not me. This is not me. I'm going to make it however I'm busy it is. It's gonna happen and check this. This is gonna be a very simple video by the way. I mean simple in terms of editing and I was just gonna do the narration. So make things go faster. Yeah, you know it. So mm, let's roll. This coolant has been sitting in this rig since November 12 last year. I mentioned before, regular maintenance is relatively important for a water cool system. So today we're gonna look at the block radiator to see if it has some sort of corrosion or other stuff built up. Remember, this is running a mixed metal which I put the copper block and aluminum radiator in this build. So, aluminum is more reactive than copper, so if any corrosion or electrochemical reaction is happening, we can see from inside of the radiator very easily. So, I'm gonna show you guys my first maintenance of PC water cool system in this video. Yes, my first time, huh? Please like and subscribe to my channel to protect my virginity. Let's roll. When it comes down to maintenance, it is quite straightforward. Unscrew the drain plug and refill the coolant. But before that, I promised to bring you to look at the main parts. The CPU block checked, radiator checked, everything seems perfectly fine, right? Maybe I'm a genius using the right coolant, or it is still not the time yet to have a chemical reaction, yet galvanic corrosion takes years to happen. So maintenance is quite important in this case, at least I think so. Um, have you considered going reservoirless system since some of you hate it? Anyway, I'm in between. In fact, reservoir doesn't help in heat dissipation, practically, and I don't necessarily need one. But the reason I use it in my build is because the aquarium pump, which is currently sitting inside the reservoir. It is kinda silly though, we need a pump to cycle the water to cool the CPU. Then, this pump has to be cooled by the water itself in the reservoir. <laughs> so, a little tips here. Please go for an external pump if you don't plan to use a reservoir. I mean, the gigantic radiator is quite a large capacity already. And they are heavy. Other than that, the pipe arrangement, the tubing arrangement, and, and also the fittings, I recommend to use the L-shaped fittings for you to uh, run the pipes more easily and looks better than mine. So anyway, everything depends on your creativity. So you have it. So that really is. This is the update. You guys see what I see. Try my best to show you my care through transparency and communication. Content marketing is all about building relationships and giving people information they can actually use. So do it yourself only if you feel comfortable with it. Water cool system is a little bit complicated. If you don't know how complicated it is, do it yourself. But don't complain and say, Can I make a fake video? I'm okay actually. I'm open. I love to hear from you. Always. So if you like this video, don't forget to send me a like as a motivation. Subscribe and don't forget to drop down your comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.